what inhabits the entire universe has always aroused our curiosity. Literature and different studies affirm that there is a possibility that outside of our planet, there is some kind of extraterrestrial life. For example, there is always a science fiction book that awakens our intrigue about possible creatures living on other planets. However, although it all seems like science fiction, there are some hypotheses that are quite close to reality. On April 12th, during a press conference, NASA announced the existence of two exoplanets called Kepler-62f and Kepler-62e. Both worlds stand out for having a high probability of hosting different creatures. But that's not all, they are covered by endless oceans. In other words, we are talking about marine worlds. However, this is not the only detail to highlight, since many scientists believe that in the middle of this sea, it is likely that innumerable species inhabit it. Bill Baruki, who belongs to NASA's Ames Research Center, believes that if our own ocean is full of life, there is no reason to think that these two exoplanets don't have it. If we have several marine species, why not them? What are these sea monsters like? The researchers who found these exoplanets consider that, if civilization existed, it would not be very developed. On the other hand, if we want to know what these species would look like, they would surely be similar to science fiction stories. Of course, the ones where aliens look like fish. Because they live in worlds of water, they are more likely to look like fish than humans. True sea monsters. Next, we will present you some of the hypotheses of various specialists on these marine creatures. We emphasize that they all agree on the same point, and that is that they should not be highly developed aliens. All this because of the simple fact of living in water and the difficulties that this fact can represent. The Mon Calamari of Star Wars are the most famous and fictitious fish aliens. Will the creatures of those aquatic worlds resemble those? But the most logical reason would be that, if there is civilization in these planets, they may appear to resemble the fish of the Earth. Can you imagine that they look like a dolphin or a shark? Dr. Fergus Simpson of the Institute of Cosmos Sciences at the University of Barcelona used a rather complex mathematical formula called Bayesian probability to determine the surface of most planets. The results show that most of the planets are covered by 90% of water. This only reaffirms that, if there is life in other worlds, it is most likely aquatic aliens. In this sense, we already have some clear points, such as that they are probably not very intelligent species. If there is one thing we can conclude, it is that we lack an infinite number of things to discover. For example, the five Kepler-62 planets are located 1200 light years away. This means that to investigate them in depth, at least at present, it represents a rather distant dream. However, that does not mean we cannot have our own hypothesis. The universe is so big, it's beyond our imagination. Can you imagine what might be out there? What are we missing? Or what are we saving ourselves from? The simple fact of thinking about this reflects an adventure. Anyway, we're already starting from a base, with the idea that the planets are covered with water. If there were life on them, they would be marine species. Everyone will imagine them in their own way, sea monsters, exotic fish, but what it's clear is that it would be life.